dear student, I welcome you once again to Unit 22 of Bible Knowledge in Standard 6. Remember, as I said last time, today we are finishing with this Unit 22 in the Bible Knowledge of Standard 6. We have looked at a lot of things in different units. I hope you have learned as well different things. And to this far, you have gained some knowledge on different aspects. For example, we looked at how, uh, what were the miracles that God performed when they were crossing, uh, like the Red Sea, miracles in the desert. We have also looked at the aspects or the issues of gender. We have looked at the issues uh, of uh, equity, all those things, the issues of environment. We have looked at a number of issues. Now, today, as we come to the end of this unit of Bible knowledge in Standard 6, we are looking at the modern technology in the church. Modern technology in the church. Remember, in the last unit, Unit 21, we, are looking, we started looking at this whereby we are looking at the uh, modern technology in school. What are some of the things that we use in school uh, that assist in uh, learning or teaching and learning? So we looked at a number of issues, a number of things that we use to send and receive information. But now we are going to look at the church. Uh, what about technology in the church? We all go to church. We all know some of the modern things that are taking place there at the church. So we're going to look at some of them. So be there as we continue. Modern technology in the church. Modern technology in the church. So when we read these books of Psalms 150, verse 3 to verse 5, Psalms 98, verse 4 to verse 6, Psalms 149, verse 3. In all these passages of the Bible, we see uh, the inclusion of uh, uh, materials or instruments that are used in, the, in praising God. So when you stop and read those passages in the Bible, you will see that uh, what is there is uh, to show how to praise God using the tambourines, using the trumpets, using the flutes, using the cymbals, uh, praising God by dancing, praising God by uh, jumping up and down, all those things I have mentioned there. So there we see that there is an inclusion of technology in the modern, uh, in the church as well, uh, in the way people praise God. So over years, the church has benefited from technology in many areas. So we see that uh, the church is not going without technology. Sometimes it is uh, said to say, ah, oh, technology is bad. Technology is not part of the church. No, over the years, the church has always been benefiting from technology. And as technology advances, we see also that uh, has not spared the church. The church is also advancing using the same technology. So this has been in such areas as musical equipment used in worship services. So one basic area, one basic example where we can spot the use of technology is in the music technology, in the music equipment. Just imagine, just remember, you go to church, in your church, what uh, equipment is there? What equipment is there that is used in the worship? You see that that equipment, again, is technologically developed. Therefore, we cannot spare uh, the church from technology. The church as well is benefiting much from technology. It has also benefited from invention of printing press, which has helped 
the publishing of scriptures and hymn books. We are saying it has also benefited from the invention of the printing press, which has helped the, print, uh, the publishing of scriptures and hymn books. So we see that the church has also benefited a lot. It has benefited a lot from uh, the printing press. The printing press is a machine that is used uh, to print out, to print out books and all those things. So we see that when we see that there is, yes, the printing of newspapers, which are not related to the church, the printing of magazines that are not related to the church, but even the church itself has also benefited from the printing press itself. Why? Because we see the Bibles are there. We see different books, religious books or uh, spiritual books. We see the hymn books, the songs that we sing at church. We open the book. When we open the book, just remember that it is technology that has gone through that book. For you to hold that book, it is because of technology. So we see that in the church, uh, the church as well, it has also uh, been advanced through technology. So technology, we see that it is good. It is not only used at school or maybe in different workplaces or in the communities, but also in the church, we see that technology has also been of high, high benefit. Today, preachers are taking gospel to distant areas through ordinary mail, mobile phones, radio, television, and internet. So we see there that today, uh, when you go home, open the TV, you find that this channel, the pastor is preaching. This channel, they are singing gospel songs. This channel, they are teaching uh, the, uh, the gospel or the scriptures. In that way, we see that they are using technology to spread the gospel. So we see that preachers today or churches today, they are using technology to advance the spread of uh, the gospel or the message. So we see that technology is indeed right there inside the church. So when we talk of technology, it is just everywhere today. So in the church, sermons and worship services are made more attractive when accompanied by guitars, tambourines, fruits, strings, cymbals, harps, lyres, trumpets, keyboards, and sound amplifying equipment. So even today, you see that worship services, they become more attractive, more people are attracted to gather, <coughs> to gather in the worship services. Why? because there is incorporation. They have included technology there in form of guitars, tambourines, uh, flutes. These are musical equipments that are there. So we see that there are the pianos, they are there. So with that, we see that there is technology that is making worship services to be more attractive. So we see to it that technology in itself is not uh, the gospel, but it is making the worship itself to be more attractive, hence people are more and more attracted to church or to worship services. So the inclusion of those uh, technological equipment is advancing the preaching of the gospel. Worshippers are able to see and hear gospel more clearly. So we see when you're on TV, you just uh, switch on the TV, you are able to listen, to follow the teaching that is there uh, by the pastor or by the preacher who is there. You are able to hear uh, clearly through the use of the microphones, then the sound is clear. Someone cannot shout to 1,000 people. Many people will not get what you are saying. So the use of technology, they use the microphone, and then the sound is amplified. Then you find that many people, they are sitting maybe way at the back, then they are able to, uh, to hear or to listen clearly. With that, then we see that technology is really good. And inside the church, technology is also being used. Preachers are taking advantage of improved transport and communication network to spread the gospel to distant places. 
So we see again here that the preachers or the churches today, they are also are taking advantage of uh, what is there or technological ad advancement. For example, in the improved transport and also communication network. In transport, you see that preachers are able uh, to travel very fast using cars, using aeroplanes to distant areas to preach the gospel. In that way, they are using technology to advance the gospel. Also, they are using communication network, the internet. Someone is in America, someone is in Britain, but he can preach this time and the whole world is listening at the same time. So preachers are using the same things, using the television and all other things, radios. Uh, so we see uh, that really technology is being incorporated. Even on the internet, you go to YouTube, the internet there, you find that there are so many channels there, uh, people preaching even right now as we are, are learning this. So we see that the church is using this technology to advance or to spread the gospel. So the preachers are taking advantage of the advanced technology. Now, to this far, we have come to the end of uh, this unit and indeed the end of Bible knowledge in Standard 6. Now, here with me here, I have uh, the exercise for Unit 22. So, uh, the first one says, how has the church, how has the church benefited from technology on music? Number two, what has been the benefit of the printing press to the church? What has been the benefit of the printing press to the church? Number three, state how preachers today are benefiting from technology. State how preachers today are benefiting from technology. Number four, explain how church sermons and worship are made more attractive today. Explain how church, uh, church sermons and worship are made more attractive today. So this is the work that you are supposed to do. Write it very clearly and provide the good answers there. So to this far, it means we have come to the end of uh, Bible knowledge in standard uh, six. So in the next time, we are going to proceed with the uh, Bible knowledge that is in standard seven. That is the next part. But now, as you are now in standard six, remember to go back and forth, back and forth. Repeat these things, uh, unit one, unit two, up to unit 22. If you are finished, go back and do that so that you internalize these things. You know these things because you will not come back to these after you have uh, uh, finished and gone to uh, standard seven because standard seven has got its own work has got its own work again they are good good uh, parts and units there again in standard seven so do these things as you are in standard six know them all read the verses of the bible get the bible ask for the bible read all the verses that ha have been provided to you in this uh, in this uh, subject in standard six so remember to do it well do it well and do it thoroughly so as you do this uh, please know that uh, there is also another week ahead of you in standard seven. So complete everything in standard six, know everything, answer all the questions that have been provided. In so doing, then you will know these things. As you go to standard seven, you will be remem just remembering these and as you will be doing the standard seven work. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Mm -hmm.